twofold. One, I stand by the statement the university issued on Tuesday, and two, that the conduct alleged in the criminal complaint is unacceptable. As far as our team is concerned, and the reason why we're having this press conference, it's, it's time to start the basketball season, and that's going to be our focus. Um, I feel like we built a, a strong foundation. I feel like we've made progress in our program becoming more competitive. And as we've talked about all summer long, I feel like this team and this roster, because of its experience, and its depth, uh, its strength physically, is in position to make uh, a run to the NCAA tournament. Questions? There's the that to still be the case if the players on this team are not eligible. I feel like this team has got a chance to compete for the tournament. Um, I'm, uh, I like the way we prepared. Um, I like the chemistry. I like the way they're respecting one another. I like the way they're working in the classroom and, and uh, the, work, the way they're working in the weight room. You guys will watch practice today and I think you'll see a team that looks a little further ahead than um, than where we would have been had we not returned 70% or so of our, our scoring or 65% of our rebound. That's by far the most I've returned since I've been a coach here. Every year it's been a rebuild by virtue of the um, you know, status of the roster. And, and this is the first time where we've got a lot of guys back. So I think we'll look better than what we uh, than what we would have looked in uh, on September 29th of the other year. Bruce, what's the day-to-day -day operations, practice, day-to-day -day operations for Chuck not being here? We, uh, you know, again, our focus is the, is the players. Our focus is practice and practice plans. I've been, by virtue of the fact that a couple of the areas that we've struggled with the most has been our drop-back defense, our defense, in particular, our defensive transition, rebounding. And so I've tried, I have tried to take through the spring and the summer uh, a lot more ownership, and I spent a lot more time on that side of the ball myself. So in the sense of any real change, it's sort of just going to continue to be my focus because I feel like we've got enough guys that can score. But we had a hard time with our floor balance and the offense to the defense, and I think I have to be responsible for that, getting guys back. <coughs> And uh, if we're going to improve in those areas, I've got to, I've got to own it. Will you hire an assistant coach? You know, it's, it's, again, as, as it relates to any matters involving all that, um, I'm probably not going to make any more comments on that at this time. But is everybody practicing today, then? Yes. Was there any thought given to delaying the start of practice, given that there's some uncertainty about the status of the players? No, I, we haven't given any thought to uh, practice starts uh, today. and, and uh, our kids are excited about it, and, uh, and so we're, we're good to go. President Lee told ESPN that this coaching staff has identified the two players named in the complaint. He just told us an hour ago that they have a pretty good indication as to who they are. Who are the players involved in the complaint, first? Again, I have, uh, I can't, and I won't have any further comment. Do you have any concerns about your own job? Like I said, I, I, as I said before now, I can't and I won't have any further comment. I've made my statements. And if you have basketball related questions, I'd be happy to visit with you. Again, just to repeat, um, I stand by the university statement and the conduct that is alleged in this complaint is unacceptable. Bruce, under NCAA rules, are you allowed to have a temporary person on the floor on the bench with you if Chuck's not there? Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, is it there have been, that? like, uh, when we've had, when we've had, um, either an illness or um, when there has been a staff, when the staff has changed in the past, when there have been changes, there is a mechanism by which you can elevate somebody um, to the assistant coaching status, and we are in discussions about that. You, you said after last season that you felt the program was in really, really good shape, and obviously the first thing, and you still think it's the first thing? I, I feel really confident in our, in our players. Um, there are certain things, certain, certain ways you have a barometer on them. Um, we're healthy. We go into the season completely healthy. Um, 
we are physically much stronger. Uh, um, our team GPA has never been higher. Um, these guys have worked really hard. There's been a lot of discipline. So I do feel as confident going into this season as, as, as any season I've had. I've never in my three years been in a position where I said, I think I have a team that is good enough to potentially get to the NCAA tournament. I've never said that. Last year, I thought our roster was good enough to get to postseason. I knew it was going to be young, but I still thought we could get to postseason. I never said it, or either rarely, or I hope to never say the NCAA tournament. I wasn't sure I could put that on such a young team. When if we were the only team in the country that had four freshmen as their, as their leading scorers, you know, I, I didn't know it was going to work that way out, but it's really hard to take four freshmen and think they'd get to the NCAA tournament. And we probably came a couple of games short of the NIT. Um, we had double-digit leads in probably four, or maybe even five SEC games, I'd say, that we did not win. And then, of course, a, 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 a very difficult tournament loss at the end probably put us two or three games away from the NIT. So while last, team, last year's team made a great deal of progress, and keep in mind that 18 wins was the second most wins in 14 years, we had some you know, we were 11 and 2 in the non-conference, um, you know, this team's made progress. There's so many more mercy instruct you not to talk about? But. Again, as it relates to, you know, my, you know, my focus on the basketball team is start practice, and I just don't have any more comments. Have you? About the, uh, have you or any member of your staff, or to your knowledge, compliance, spoken to Vicki or, or Daniel Kerbois? Again, I, I don't have any, any, any more comments on anything at all. Just obviously the news this week, you know, pretty pretty widespread, a lot of talk. What was your message to the team, and kind of how did they respond, and how did they come to you as a coach? We're, our focus is to start a practice, and just how we want to try to play, what are our strengths, what are our weaknesses, and um, and, and, and just try to stay together from that standpoint. You know, they can't worry about what they can't control. They've got to continue to focus on their books and their basketball, and and uh, and, and that's really been that's really been our focus. Did, did you reach out? I'll to, take two more. Did you reach out to families? I mean, given the issues surrounding it, did you try try to reach out and talk to them and reassure them? Uh, I mean, this is a violation of trust. Do you, you know, do you reach out proactively and try to talk to them and ask answer their questions about? Them? We try and maintain. Are really, we try to make good communication with our families and uh, and recruits, and, and and I would say that we we just try to be as much as we possibly could as far as our communication available, and, and uh, try to be as much as we could business as usual. Bruce, Bruce, to all due respect, Bruce, is the word unacceptable uh, a word that really describes your personal feeling? I yeah, mean, you've yeah. been you've been betrayed by a number one assistant. Yeah, you I came I, in I, under guys, the I, cloud. And, I appreciate it. And I do recognize it. I recognize and I do respect the job that you guys have to do. And what I would ask is just the reason why I'm having this press conference right now is really to start practice. And, and that's where my focus is going to be. And so because I'm not going to be answering any more questions about matters that are relating to this, if you have any more basketball questions, I'll answer them. If you don't, I can't. To, to the future, Bruce, what is your message to recruits? You've lost a commitment in your 2018 class. What is your message to recruits? Why should any player come here into fans who have already exchanged their season tickets? Why should fans buy tickets to support this program when they don't know what's I'm going not, on the floor? Again, that, that involves a comment on something that relates to this, where we are right now. If your question's involving the start of practice in our basketball team, I'd be happy to answer that. Coach, so you said this team, you, you're confident this team can make the NCAA tournament. How much would that mean to this program you know, this year? Well, I tell you what, it's, to any program, um, it, 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 it still matters. You know, when I was in Southern Indiana, I made it nine straight years. I still got chills up and down my spine every time they called out our name. Um, when I was at Tennessee, we made it six years in a row the same way. So, now the fact that we haven't been here since 2003, um, it may be more historic and it might be a little bit more special. We got a lot of work to do to get there. We certainly would, but but obviously it would mean a great deal if uh, we could continue. Again, we've got a very strong foundation, and I feel like this team has got a chance. Okay. Thanks, Thanks, guys.